Hi, all you SPMEs out there. Today's question has three answers, and you're going to want to stick around because the third answer is a secret how, as to how you can be winning at self-publishing sheet music. So let's get into it. Today's question that was sent in was how to self-publish sheet music. Now, I completely can understand this, being somebody who played violin for 10 years and piano for 8 years and uh, a number of other instruments, uh, guitar on and off and flute and a couple other things throughout the years, I can understand the desire to say, well, I've got some music, maybe you've written some music yourself, right? Or maybe you even wish to publish music, older music that's, that was created hundreds of years ago that's no longer under copyright. So this would also be something that <coughs> you may be very well tempted to self-publish. But then the question is, well, how do I do this? I don't understand this whole self-publishing sheet music. I'm sure there's lots of little rules and things that make it a lot more difficult than just a normal self-published book. And that is what we're going to answer today. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com. Hit the subscribe button if you would like for me to make more videos like this. And check up above me, uh, check up in the description below, and you will find my absolutely free self publishing checklist to help you get started at self publishing books or maybe sheet music. Uh, and, uh, but it's absolutely free, so you're definitely going to want to check that out to make sure that you're making as much as possible off the books you're publishing by not skipping any of those critical secret steps. So, how to self publish sheet music? Let me tell you a little bit about my story. When I first got started, I I have not ever self-published sheet music, but I can say I've used a number of very powerful pieces of software to generate the sheet music itself in a format that was easy to use, like PDFs, and putting the music in that format so that I could then use my iPad or my iPhone and play the music right off of the device itself. But not everybody likes to use these sorts of pieces of these software. And so we want to find a solution that people are really going to appreciate. So then the question is, well, what exactly is that correct solution to make sure that people, when they're playing their music, they're going to like it? Because some people like to do it digitally, and some people like to do it on paper, and there's just so many different formats. And so that is something, even though I've never done published the music, I have put it into, into these formatting programs and printed it out, but then how exactly do we get it into, into uh, Amazon Kindle, where we're actually making money and putting it into a marketplace where people can actually enjoy playing the music that we've put out onto the market? So, and that is how to self-publish sheet music. Let me get directly into the answers here. So the first thing is, you're going to be able to do this exactly like you do it on normal self-published books. There's no difference at all. So now there may be some preferences and ways in which we're going to do this that will make it easier for people to play your music than others. And that may include maybe the size. You know, normally I use six by nine, but you know, I don't know, maybe that would not be as easy to do it with normal sheet music, but maybe it would be okay. And the same goes with the iPad or, or when you're putting it into the Kindle format. Uh, you could theoretically stick with the normal format. You're going to need to test this out, and that is the thing that we don't completely know until we've actually done it. So there are options. Like, for example, you could download or buy books on Amazon Kindle and see exactly what format, like size-wise, that they're using, and that would give us an idea. But the second answer, and this is maybe the most important one, it is that I like to use one tool to solve all of our self-publishing problems. In other words, all of the formatting can be done with a tool called Uto. You can find my affiliate link below in the description, and that is what I use for all of my books. 100% of my books go to this single tool, and it solves everything, including picture and animation books. These things, comic books, are inside of this tool that's able to handle it. And when you're doing sheet music, we're really just talking about if you did a comic book, it's no difference. In fact, it's even easier because with comic books, we have to have where we're grid using a grid display on the comics themselves. But ultimately, it's just a picture we're going to have in the book. Okay? So that makes this a lot easier when we're using a tool like Uto to solve our issues with this. Now, this the one question you're going to need to know is maybe the size and stuff, <coughs> but you really won't know the answer to that one until you've just started the process, and that is the secret answer of the day. It is you need to just start, use a tool like Uto, use the tool, and start just using it and putting your sheet music in. Now, you're going to make the sheet's music itself in a different tool. You could do it by hand, but there's lots of software out there that will give you the ability to create the sheet music itself. Then we will use a screen, we'll export that to a 
a, uh, a PNG file or a JPEG or a GIF or whatever the case may be. I prefer, I think it was, I think the ones I was liking was the, was the, uh, for Uto, it prefers, uh, the, uh, the P, uh, PNF, uh, PNG files. It's the one that it prefers to use. So I would export to a PNG. Then we're going to take those PNGs and we're going to stick it directly into Uto. Now Uto can then spit out our Kindle version. It can spit out our EPUB version for Smashwords. It will do the paperback version in PDF format that we can then use for, for where? KDP print. We're going to put it onto, onto Ingram Smart, Spark for, for the print there. And we're going to do a hardback version on Lulu. And now we have our combination. Do you see it? We have it in all of these different tools. And the only real question is the size format. And you can play around with that a bit. I still think 6x9 is probably the correct on the print version because it ensures that it will be distributed in as many markets as humanly possible. And we want people to find our sheet music when we've published it. And this is really the key to it. You're going to start with just getting it onto KDP and we'll play around with it. Download some other people's books and see exactly how their sheet music looks because well, on KDP you can put it on an iPad just set the iPad sideways and they can put the music directly on there so they can play it and the beauty is we're not having to compete on some small market we're on the largest market of books so we're going to have a huge number of people who would possibly be interested in buying and practicing our music and what better way to share our music with the world than on the largest marketplaces on the planet in the formats people want to listen to to play the music that you've created. And you could even have like a freebie in the book to get people to sign up for your newsletter. Maybe you have music, like a MIDI file, or you've played this music, you got it on YouTube, so they can actually go and see it. Or maybe they start on YouTube and you can send them right on over to your book to purchase it. There's so many options, so much fun things to explore when you're getting started with publishing on Kindle using Amazon with your sheet music. So these are just a few of the thoughts that I have on this subject. So how to publish sheet music? What have you found? Have you ever published anything? Go and let me know below in the comments. Help other readers also find this out. And make sure that you check out above me here because you will find more answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.